so now we have the part of my channel where I try to sell you stuff. I mean, sure, I do the occasional demonstration video for things that I have going up on Etsy or eBay or my eCreator store, but those have typically been for items that could actually benefit from a video showing how they work and that they work. But then I got to thinking that with the amount of cool stuff I have available, retro, modern, vintage, antique, or whatever, and with everything that I get to resell, uh, getting set up first on my eCreator store before going to any other venue, then why not do little showcase videos for the stuff and link the individual items showcase to their entries right on my eCreator store. And thus the Retro Rickery Showroom is now born. So to start off, we have some IBM mainframe pieces that just finished a four month stint on Etsy. And they're now again active on my eCreator store. These are assorted cards pulled from an IBM 3274 terminal controller. And the greater portion of which we actually had to abandon back in Washington when we moved. We just didn't have room for it in the U-Haul. But I figured that it would be a good idea to at least salvage the cards in the manual, and the manual sold a couple years back. And that was, I think, one of the first things to go. So anyway, in uh, my listings for these on my store, I identified them by the slot label that they were assigned, but that's mostly for my convenience. And two of them are identical, as far as I can tell. Uh, don't really know a whole lot about these, but from feedback I got from buyers of a couple other cards that had sold uh, another year or so ago, uh, they seem to work fine. So let's have a look at what I have to offer in the Retro Rookery Showroom. Now this first card, it was in the A slot. And as you can see, there's really not much to it. Um, and all I have on this is it's a jumper just choose between LCA or CCA, which I later found out uh, CCA is the Common Communications Adapter. And I'm not sure what uh, LCA is, or at least what the L would stand by, stand for. Uh, anyway, that's really all there is to show for that one. And the next one came from the D slot. It's the uh, 128k store, and uh, according to the document that I found that has some of the info on this, uh, it just provides 128k bytes of control storage. I suppose that's pretty self-explanatory. Now the third one was out of the K slot and it was called the EIA slash CCITT driver and receiver. Couldn't find much info but it seems to have something to do with terminal communications. I figure anyone interested in uh, buying these pretty much knows what they're after most likely. Then out of the L slot was the uh, CCA or the Common Communications Adapter. So I think we can uh, guess what the card in the A slot was jumpered to. The next out of the M slot uh, is just called the File Adapter and I couldn't find any particular mention of it by that name but I remember that was what it was called either in the manual or on the chart that was on the inside of the casing of the unit so I'm not sure what it actually adapts file formats, media types, like types of disk, who knows but there you have it and that brings us to the final piece 
these are identical. Uh, one was in the T slot and the other was in the U slot next to it. These are the Type A driver and receiver cards and apparently uh, those are just a type of terminal adapter. Uh, they're set up for the t for type A terminals, which if you can find the manual online and it's easy to find, you can find out what that is. The other one would be the type B, which these aren't. But anyway, so that pretty much wraps it up for this first installment of the Retro Rookery Showroom. Each of the pieces showcased here can be found for $20 a pop, plus shipping on my eCrater store. Links to the individual pieces are in the description below. If any show in the store is on hold, it's only because a potential buyer ahead of you is giving it consideration, but feel free to message me either directly here or there through the email contact on my eCrater store especially if you have concerns about shipping and handling, which from prior experience is pretty spot on. If the listing does not show your country is supported, just message me and we can deal. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to have a few more of these videos up soon, as well as videos of other projects elsewhere on the channel.